During Black History Month, we're highlighting influential black Oregonians. Today, we look back at the life of a lawmaker who was loved by both Republicans and Democrats. It seems rare in politics for a person to be beloved by both parties, but that's the case for Jackie Winters. When she died in 2019, she left a void at the Oregon State Capitol. Winters moved to Portland in 1941 and eventually settled in Salem. She first got into politics working for then Governor Tom McCall. In 1998, Winters became the first black Republican elected to the legislature. She served in the House before winning a seat in the Senate. Winters was instrumental in passing a bill for Trailblazers specialty license plates and worked to ensure the surcharge benefited youth-oriented causes. She pushed for criminal justice reform to stop automatically sending young offenders to prison. It was something she continued to work on even as she battled lung cancer. And just months after her death, then-Governor Kate Brown signed the so-called Jackie Winters bill that changed how judges deal with Measure 11 cases, serious crimes involving minors. Her lasting legacy is someone who stood for people, not politics.